Greetings fellow Wargamers, this is Johannes from Dust War Generals bringing you a Dust 1947 unboxing. Today we are looking at the conversion kit for the AB43 Lancia Fiamme for the Axis. And as you can tell from the start, this is not a normal unit box. This is a lot smaller than the standard unit boxes because it doesn't really contain that much, uh, just stuff-wise. But it's uh, incredibly exciting, I feel, in what you can do with this kit. Uh, as you can see, it's a conversion set and it includes high-quality resin and plastic parts. And it also includes the AX920 unit card. That's the unit card for the Lancia Fiamme itself. So let's dig into this box and see exactly what you get in here. Well, first off, some packing foam. Then you get a big plastic bag with some stuff inside it. We're going to take a look at that in a second. But let's also look at the unit card for the AB43 Lancia Fiamme. So this is a flamethrower armored car. It's seven army points. It has the wield and flame rules. Uh, let's take a look at the other side of it. So it has a move value of three, march value of five. That's a misprint. It's not supposed to be soldier two. It's supposed to be vehicle two. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. It has four hit points and three weapon lines. So the main flamethrower has a range of two and does uh, quite a lot of damage all the way up to vehicle seven. This is basically the standard flamethrower that we've seen on other flame wielding vehicles. And it also carries two standard vehicle mounted machine guns. One in the turret and one interestingly in the rear uh, arc. This doesn't really make that much difference uh, gameplay wise uh, because you can back the uh, car around and still be able to hit. You can see that uh, with the C there, that's the rear mounted. So if you want to you can just, if you want to you can spin the turret around and uh, just pretend that's the front. It doesn't really make any gameplay difference whether it's the front or back, it's more of a visual thing. But this is a very cool little unit, it's uh, pretty cheap at 7 points. Uh, still vehicle 2 and only 4 hit points, so it's going to be destroyed very easily. As you can see, even the machine guns uh, itself carries can hurt vehicle class 2. So one of these can uh, potentially take out another of these, pretty simple. But the threat range of 5 squares with the flamethrower, that's, that's really cool. And I think we can see some use for this unit. So let's take a look at the actual parts that you get in here. So as we set, saw on the front box you get some resin parts and you get some plastic parts. The resin parts are the flamethrower itself and the mount that you use to put it on the actual turret. And yeah, it definitely looks very very nice, very high quality there. And the plastic parts are for the dust specific machine guns. So you get two complete machine guns there and you get the mount for the turret mounted one and I'm guessing that uh, the other one you just cut off where you want to put it on the hull since it's supposed to stick in through it. Uh, but that's what you get in the actual kit aside from the card. So what you need in order to build this kit apart from this conversion set is of course uh, a, a model kit like this one the Italeri Autoblinda AB43 kit in 148 scale so this is uh, what you're supposed to use to in order to build your Lancia Fiamme so in conclusion this is a very specific style of kit if you want to build your own dustified unit this is definitely for you if you're just one of those people who just wants to open the box put the thing together and play with it that right then and there this is not for you this is going to require a bit of work just by putting the model kit together getting it set up getting it painted and primed it's going to take a bit more work but i think that if you're up to the task this is a very interesting and cool unit for you to play with and that's it for this unboxing 
If you like this video, please leave a comment, a like, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. And be sure to also check out dustwarjournals.com for more news and information and also a monthly podcast all about Dust 1947. Johannes out.